Hello lovelies, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you will be notified every time I publish a new video. So today, we are doing a life update. I haven't done one in a couple of months, so I wanted to give you guys a breast of what's going on in my life. So right now, the first thing I wanna talk about is my braces. Uh, this will probably be the last update for my braces. As you guys know, I did have my braces removed. So yeah, right now, my teeth are not so white. So as I discussed in the last braces update video, I had a final appointment that I had to go to to see if everything was going right, to see if my retainers were fitting well and so on. So I had a big faux pas. So I showed up all the way out to Sanford, North Carolina, which is about an hour one way from my house. And only to find out that my appointment was the very next day. It was my fault. However, there was no way I was going to drive back out to Sanford, North Carolina that next day. So I talked to uh, one of the assistants there and wanted to know, did I really have to go for that final appointment? Uh, my retainers were doing fine. Um, I had voiced my opinion on how I felt about my teeth. Um, they're not perfect, uh, but they're fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I've grown into them and so on. So after deciding everything was within my liking or okay, I decided I, that was my last appointment. I was not gonna go back. So that was the end of my braces uh, checkup. So that was the last one I was gonna do. So as I said, my teeth are yellow right now. They're not as white as I would like. So what I have been doing is I have been using a Crest White Strips. And in the past I've used Crest White Strips and they've worked on my teeth. Unfortunately, they have not this time. Uh, because I'm assuming years and years and years and years of constant coffee drinking is not going to work for Crest White Strips. So I am going to try one more thing before I go to my dentist and say, hey, either give me some white trays or actually go to a professional teeth whitener. Um, I do have some Rembrandt uh, whitening trays that I'm going to try. Uh, they're supposed to be a little gentle to your teeth. Uh, I'm gonna try that. So as you guys know, I do have the bonding here on the two front teeth to close the gap the rest of the way. The braces did what they could and then the bonding did the rest of the way. And the dentist did explain to me, or the orthodontist, actually the dentist explained to me that uh, I, if I try to whiten my teeth, the bonding would not uh, cooperate and whiten with it. So. I'm going to take my chances because my teeth have never been this yellow and I'm not liking it. So uh, I'm going to try the Rembrandt uh, and see where I go from there. And um, so we're gonna try that. So anyway, that's enough about my braces. I'm so sick of talking about my braces journey and all that. So we're, we're done with braces. So, so we're done with the braces update. I will keep you guys abreast on how the whitening goes and how um, it may or may not affect the bonding on the teeth. So let's move on to the next update. So yeah, this happened. Uh, my husband was taking my granddaughter to drama practice and some guy hit him and totaled my brand new car. So needless to say, I we're down to one car and uh, we are going to be getting a second car again. It's just that now I have my eye on a new car that I like, and we are waiting uh, till my birthday, which is next month, to get a car. So yeah, my husband is okay, thank God, and um, God worked that out. So yeah, that is what's going on there. And next, so now for my health update. So, where do I even begin on my health update? So this morning, when I checked my blood sugar, it was 82, which is a big victory. Actually, it's been anywhere from 79 
to 90 for the last two months. And I'll tell you what I credit that to in a minute. But my sugars are doing good. I am actually, the only medication I am on is, as I told you guys in a previous video, that I was taking myself off my uh, diabetes medications. And the only medication that I am on is my metformin. And I will occasionally take the Jardiance when I am eating something that I know is high in sugar. And I don't do that too often. And when I say high in sugar, it's not like I am getting some big chocolate cake or whatever and eating it. I will eat something like strawberries or some kind of fruit that I know will spike my blood sugar. And in those instances, I might take a Jardiance. But other than that, I weaned myself pretty much off the Jardiance. So um, I don't know what my cholesterol is. I have an upcoming appointment at the beginning of June, the week before my birthday, to, to, to test my uh, A1C. And it is my prayer that that is under uh, six. And my cholesterol, I'm not sure what that is, so I'll be testing that. And then I just weighed myself this morning and I'm at 169. Now I was at 168, but I did get sick. I caught the flu and uh, I was sick for a while. And you know how you get sick, you kind of lose a few pounds and then after you feel better, you start eating everything in sight and you, get, you gain all this weight. Well, that happened to me. And since that happened to me, I have just been totally off kilter. Which brings me to my next update. I have been doing the keto diet for about two months now. And I'm gonna tell you that it is a life-changing experience for me. And a lot of people will say, oh, keto is a fad. It's, it's, it's only gonna be around for a little while. Well, actually, no. Keto has been around for a long time. And no, I'm not trying to sell you on keto. You make your own decision on whether or not keto is something that you wanna think about. But I remember when I moved from Denver, Colorado to Phoenix, Arizona in 1998. That was my first introduction to keto. Uh, things have gotten a lot more uh, better and they're more improved now than I remember back then, but keto has worked for me. Now I will say in the last two weeks, I have been off my game. Like I said, I got sick. And once I start feeling better, I start eating everything. I went off keto, I stopped going to the gym, and I just feel awful. I can tell the difference. So let me just tell you a little bit about keto. And I'm going to be doing keto uh, updates. I'm going to be doing keto recipes. There'll be a whole playlist dedicated to my keto lifestyle because this is not a diet. It's a lifestyle because I am slowly adapting my husband and my granddaughter to the keto lifestyle. So you'll find playlists that'll include recipes, um, updates, research that I find, effects, causes and effects uh, on how they affect me. Each person is different, so I implore you to do your own research and see how anything affects you. You know, I have a lot of naysayers who say that um, keto is dangerous keto why are you doing that why are you doing this you're gonna kill yourself you're this and that but those same people said nothing when i was throwing donuts in my in my in my pie hole or eating whoppers or mcdonald's you know it was all cool let's go out and eat at uh, olive garden and stuff our faces with lots of pasta no one was saying anything about that it was cool then so you know uh, zip it so <laughs> keto has been working for me not only in the weight loss department, that is definitely a plus for me. Um, I've lost about 20 pounds um, altogether so far. And that wasn't the biggest reason why I decided to try keto. I start doing some research. I start uh, going online. I start watching some videos, listening to some doctors. Um, the main two doctors that I listen to right now are um, Dr. Berg and Dr. Berry. And if I can remember, I will put their link in the description box below. But the main reason why I got on it is because of inflammation issues that I have and me researching and realizing that was uh, uh, one of the main reasons to a lot of my health issues. And um, to make a long story short, and I'll get into more extensive keto 
uh, videos later. This is more of an update, but um, I feel a lot better. I, I got a lot more energy. I was in the gym every single day, uh, just about, well, not every single day, but I was three to five, three to five days a week I was into the gym. Uh, I felt a lot more energy. The brain fog was not there. Um, I was eating healthy. I wasn't eating junk. I mean, I was I was doing I was doing well until I got sick, and I will admit that I have fallen off the keto wagon. Uh, but I am slowly getting back on. I'm working that in with intermittent fasting again. I will get more into that um, as time goes on. But uh, keto is working for me. I've actually got my husband on it. He is starting to like it. Um, and it's funny because the foods that we are trying are a lot more exciting than the foods that we were doing because before we were like okay what do we eat for breakfast we're bored you know and now i'm i'm uh excited to go out and find new things and so far you know so you know so far we're doing good and i'm even uh slowly you know adding my granddaughter to it although we're not putting on her on as strict of a keto diet as we are on because she is eight years old you know she still is no more eating the corn fructose syrup or things like that or a lot of the sugar that she was eating a lot of the junk food that she was eating a lot of the the cereals that she was eating so we're all adapting to this lifestyle and we're loving it so um and we're 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 you know i haven't gotten an update from my husband and we will do that in a future video but it really helped me a lot i, I got off my medications uh, and I feel a lot better. My sugars, that's the main thing right now. If I walk away with anything from this video that keto has done for me besides lose weight, it is my blood sugars have gone from being anywhere on average from 200 to, to 400 average to 89. That is the takeaway I take away from keto today. Again, I'm not going to get into a keto uh, rant and uh, talking about how much I love it. Today, that'll be in another video, but that's an update. The, the takeaway I take away today from keto besides the weight loss is that it has lowered my blood sugar and it has kept my blood sugar lower. So that is the update on the keto. So as far as summer plans, we have a couple of local vacations planned. And when I say local, I mean in-state. We normally plan an out-of-state vacation every year last year we went to dc the year before we went on a cruise to the bahamas but because we will be relocating very soon we decided to keep it local so we can try to experience all as much as north carolina has to offer as we can so we will be going to Asheville. we will also be making a few trips to the beach and we're also going to be trying to make it up to Brevard so our granddaughter can experience the beautiful waterfalls. North Carolina does have some very beautiful waterfalls and Asheville is a very eclectic city. Um, there's lots going on. We want her to experience that as well as the Biltmore House. So, and then you guys know we, we, have, to, we have to go to the beach a couple of times. So we will be going to the beach this summer. And then the last update I wanna tell you guys about, and there'll be more updates because my birthday is next month it'll be my birthday month so i will be giving you guys an update next month on my birthday month but um i'll keep that under wraps for now but one of the things that i am preparing for this summer for august is we uh have made the decision our family collectively has made the decision to homeschool my granddaughter um, and we'll get more into that later. And you can also find more about that on our other channel, which is currently called Glamma and Little Bit, which is G-L-A-M-M-A -M -M -A and L-I-L-B-I-T. The link is in the description box below. It's going to be changing this summer to Bryant Family Values. And uh, again, there'll be more updates on this channel and that channel you can find. So you'll always be in the loop, but we're going to be homeschooling. So we're currently preparing for that. So um, stay tuned for some more information about that, but there'll be more updates about that on Glamma in a little bit. So I think I've got you guys pretty much up to date. 
on what's going on right now in our life, at least the most important things right now. Um, but I'll be back next month because again, it'll be my birthday month and I'll be in the 50-ish, over 50-ish club <laughs> next month and I'm kind of excited. And I'm gonna do a separate video about that. And actually, we'll, I'll be doing more videos before then, but I think I'm gonna talk about how I feel turning 50 because I'm in my feelings about turning 50. And I think that'll be the name of the actual blog, the blog post. In my, in my feelings about turning 50 because, you know, I have this vigor and this confidence about turning 50, but then I turn around and I'm like, I'm kind of down and sad. I'm gonna be 50. Oh my God. I'm definitely on the other side of the dash. So folks, that's my update. I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, make a comment below, hit that notification button, tell all your friends, share this video. Thank you, sit, stay for a spell. Love you all. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.